Hey guys, welcome back to the excavation of Hobbs Barrow. We finally found Mr. Shoulder, but I don't really know what to make of it, so... Mm, I... The day was starting to test me. Oh, there's things going on, so I'm going to shut up and have a look at what's going on. The word coincidence felt insufficient to explain what was happening. It was after that first conversation with Leonard's shoulder that I started entertaining thoughts of a truly irrational nature. What if my dream wasn't just a dream? What if it was all more than simple coincidence? What if that thing really could help my father? Good day, little one. Hello? What's this? A fiddle bow? There's no string. My name is Thomasina. What's yours? Don't be shy. I don't mean you any harm. What are you doing out here all alone on the moors? Do you live here? Hmm. Would you like me to fix your bow so you can play your fiddle again? Yes? Hey! Most peculiar. Perhaps I can mend the bow for her. If memories of my childhood violin lessons serve me right, bowstring is made from animal hair coated in a waxy resin. The strings don't vibrate without it. Hmm. Animal hair, you say? Hmm. No, that won't work. Okay, we don't have anything that resembles... That's a peculiar idea. Alright, so we will have to do What a peculiar that. name. The Devil's Toe. I can't quite see the resemblance myself. The Devil's Toe. Local landmark. I don't wish to dig it up. Okay, let's exit here. There I... is nothing going on here, right? Can you pick... sweet little. Okay, pick up the hen. Can we also just show the rooster? I do not wish to harass the rooster. Okay. Uh, what happens if we do this? Nope. But we can feed these, can't we? That would be rather cruel to the poor worm. Yes, it would, but... Okay, so... He got rid of his laundry. And maybe is wearing it already. Okay! Very, very strange things going on here. Uh, investigate the local. Fix the fiddle bow. Perhaps I could mend this for the girl at the devil's So The bow is lacking a string. So I don't know where to find... A hair. Maybe a horse or something. Hmm. Margaret's lookout. Dedicated to Arthur's mother. Okay, let's exit here. I want to pay a visit to Mr. Bryden. I think that's what he's called. Oh, another flashback. Okay, sure. Mummy? Get away from the fire, Thomasina! What are you burning? Nothing! Just waste! Now go inside! Hmm... Ab... Abrax... Mummy, what is this? Waste! Burn it! Okay... How very, very weird. 
all right so that is mr bryden before we're gonna talk to him though can we mr bryden is right there yeah that's true but maybe his wife is going to help us a little bit this is not mine to take no it's not the ghost is over there but can no. we do this is there something to do with the resin hmm that won't work, you say. So, oh, wait a second, the goat. No, that won't achieve anything useful. No, it won't. But the goat does have hair, doesn't it? So, can we feed the goat a worm? I should leave the goat alone. Yes, yeah, say that, but. I feel like we have to do something with the goat. Okay, whatever. So let's talk to Mr. Bryden then. Good day, Mr. Bryden. Miss. I. I'll stop you there. I know what you're going to ask. No, I haven't changed my mind. There'll be no digging here, lass. Mr. Bryden, allow me to explain. There has been an astonishing development this morning. Yes. My father was with your brother during the excavation. Oh. Yes. Can you believe it? I had no idea he had been here. The answer's still no, lass. I saw what happened to poor Samuel. I won't risk the same happening to anyone else. But... That's enough now. You can feast your eyes on that hovel to your heart's content, but there'll be no digging. Hmm. Can we no just No questions. I'm not interested. But... Off with you. Hmm, okay, so we can't con can we convince him with the journal? Look, Mr. Bryden, my father's journal. It confirms he was with your brother during the excavation of Hobbs Barrow. Ha, take that away from me. I'll be having none of that. What about the stone? What do you make of this stone, Mr. Bryden? It was strapped to my father's journal. Wait a minute, let me see that. By God. Wait here a moment. I need to get something from inside. I waited for what felt like an age. I now realize that Mr. Bryden must have been in a great debate with himself, wondering whether or not to share his own piece of the mystery with me. The goat stared at me, seemingly in pity, as I stood there in that rolling fog. Finally, Mr. Bryden emerged. Now then, as far as I know, what I have here is the only thing that Samuel brought back from Barra. Take a look. Uh-huh. Incredible! A pair! That's been in my drawer ever since Samuel passed. I suppose it might be important, so I kept it safe. Fate is clearly playing a part in your arrival, lass. Please, Mr. Bryden, allow me to excavate Hobbs Barrow. A place that is no more than dirt and stone. Uh, you're not gonna give up, are you, lass? I'm not. Samuel managed to say one thing about those men that helped him. I think it's time I tell you. Yes? He stuttered out that one of those fellows could barely walk after they got out of there. Tongue-tied two of the men were. My father. You what? My father. He had an accident around 25 years ago that left him bedbound and unable to talk. Aye, could be him. My mother told me it happened in a horse riding accident. Samuel boarded up that barra for a reason. Something unnatural occurred, I know it. Mr. Bryden, we must rely on our rational faculties to explain any- Promise me you'll be careful. Any sign of trouble, leave without hesitation and we board that accursed place up again. Understood? Wait, you're giving me permission to excavate? <sighs> Aye. Against me better judgment. I don't have the energy to stop you, lass. Thank you so much. I am grateful. Don't make me regret my decision. Take Samuel's stone. Are you sure? Hi. Give it back to me when you're finished, though. I promise. Thank you. I'll be sure to show you my discoveries, Mr. Bryden. I'd rather you don't. Now then, I've got things to get on with. I don't suppose you can spare any labor to help me with the dig? Don't push your luck, lass. Market's on today. Plenty of able-bodied men about. Ta-ra now. Permission like granted. That, I finally had permission to excavate Hobbs Barrow. 
As exciting as that was, I was distracted by what Mr. Bryden said of his brother's associate. There was no doubt in my mind that father was the stricken man he spoke of. You told me he was crippled after coming off his horse. Why did you lie to me? To protect me? To stop me from following in his footsteps? You failed. And so did Charles Bryden. He should have said no. He should have never given me that stone. Let's Hello? see if he has anything else to say. Is anyone home? Hmm, he's not answering. Okay, that's fine though, because we got what we wanted. That's good. But what about this goat? I'm still curious about this goat. Okay, before we do anything else, uh, nope. Uh, I want to go to, to find workmen for the for my excavation. Fix the fiddle bow. Investigate local uh, thingies. All right, so we are going to go. Do we want to go to the railway station? Let's go to the railway station. Okay, nothing going on over here though. Nothing going on over here. Do we want to <coughs> have a look at Cyril? Maybe he will help. Booker Elf! Nah, of course not. Okay. Uh. Yeah, a Mr. Kibble charm. Okay, now we do have a lot of people to talk to here. We're going to start Good off day. with Mr. Crozier. Hey, yo. Look at this, Mr. Crozier. It's my father's journal. Oh, why? Why are you showing me? Did you slip it under my door last night? Ha! Have you gone daft? Why would I have your father's journal? Never mind. Did the sketches inside mean anything to you? Looks like a load of rubbish to me. I found out my father visited Bewley 25 years ago. William Bateman, perhaps you remember him? I would have been just a lad. What were he here for? That's what I intend to find out. What do you make of these stones? Don't look like out to me. Are you familiar with any local folklore? Oh, why? The old cobbler used to tell me some right stories. Swore he sold a pair of boots to a goblin when he were a young man. A goblin, you say? I take it this cobbler was a regular at the plough and furrow? Never drank a day in his life. Sober as a judge. Have you been to the Devil's Toe? Yes, I'm familiar with the cairn. Some say they've seen the goblin's daughter there, playing her fiddle. What? How peculiar. I met a girl near there earlier. She gave me this broken fiddle bow. Ah. Well, you've experienced the local folklore firsthand then, lass. Hmm. Do you know any other stories about this goblin? I don't have the time to be standing here gossiping about old wives' tales. Apologies. I'm having some trouble extricating a knife from a table in the plough and furrow. Might I borrow a pair of pliers? A knife, you see. I can get that out for you. That's very kind of you, Mr. Crozier. Think nothing of it. Wait here. Okay, so he's just gonna get them for us? Okay, sure, I'll that take it. A struggle. Here you are. Thank you so much. Does the name Saxnot mean anything to you? Never heard of it. What is it? Hmm, never mind. Thanks for your time. Hi. Speak to you later. Okay, so we got the knife. No. No. That's a p Just I shan't check. lower myself to such bar that's okay. a Okay. Hmm. No. That's a that's mm. I'm not Okay, all right, so what else is going on here? The lantern, the door, the fossil, the broom. I didn't come to be. Okay, the card. Let's talk to Miss Tompkins. Hello, Miss Tompkins. Hello. We weren't introduced earlier. My name is Thomasina. Ma'am? How do you fare, Miss Tompkins? I'm waiting for Mr. Ambrose. Have you seen him? Who's that? The milkman. Ms. Fenchurch will be ever so cross if I've no milk for his lordship. I'm afraid I haven't seen him. You are in the employ of Lord Panswick. Aye, 
He employs half a bullion one way or another. I'm in need of some help for my excavation. Do you think his lordship could lend me some of his laborers? Maybe. Might you introduce me to him? Sorry, ma'am, but his lordship doesn't take visitors. Any road, I must wait here for Mr. Ambrose. Ms. Fenchurch will be ever so cross if I've no milk for his lordship. If Mr. Ambrose doesn't turn up and I find you some milk, would you be able to introduce me to Lord Panswick? Hmm. His lordship really doesn't like visitors, ma'am. I'll take the risk. Miss Fenchurch will be cross with me. But she'll be even crosser if I come back without fresh milk. So do we have a deal? Aye. Bring me some milk and I'll take you to his lordship. Thank you. But hopefully Mr. Ambrose will arrive soon. Have you been waiting long for Mr. Ambrose? Aye. He should have been here a good two hour ago. He's here every market day, you see. He sells only the freshest milk. Miss Fenchurch swears by it. I hope Miss Fortune hasn't befallen him on his way here. I'm sure he will turn up. Oh, I hope so. Are you familiar with Hobbs Barrow? What's that? Never mind. What do you make of these stones? Oh, gives me the creeps. Why? Dunno. Just a feeling. Who is Miss Fenchurch? His lordship's housekeeper. I'll let you know if I find some fresh milk. Thank you, ma'am. But tell me if you see Mr. Ambrose, won't you? I will. Hmm, all right. There is a pie seller over here. Oh, I suppose I misclicked. Nobody there, though. I don't think any- Fresh Scotch eggs! Okay, let's talk to the Can I egg seller. In a pie? Finest mutton in all the county. Two pence each. No, thank you. You're missing out. Mutton pies. Okay, we can't uh, talk to him, but we can talk Good to day. this guy. Freshly picked apples, miss. Apples. Would you like to try one on the house, like? Hmm. Yes, please. No thanks. Yes, please. Here you are, miss. The apple looks somewhat rotten. It's riddled with holes. Okay, interesting. The apple looks somewhat rotten. Okay, can we use Kenneth with this? The worm has found a new home within the holes of the rotten apple. Interesting. For some reason... That's a peculiar... Okay, I don't think that we can do anything else with the... I can't see how... Yeah, uh, that won't help. Nothing else that would be of interest here. Produce. The produce is not mine to take. Sacks of apples and cabbages. They've all seen better days. Okay, what a market. Various chards and beets. Not tempting. She is selling various herbs. Some familiar looking, some not. She is selling various herbs. Some. Mm hmm. Can we talk to this guy walking in the background? Apparently we can't. A decent selection of cuts and sausages. I'm not hungry. Tins of corned beef. Ghastly. Tins of corn. The box is full of various sprouts and onions. Nothing particularly tempting. The box is... Mm-hmm. Is that everything? Yeah, we have gone through everything. Let's talk to Good her. Good day. Fresh produce. What have you got for sale? I'm selling meat, vegetables, and all sorts of herbs and things. You're welcome to have a gander. I'll be sure to browse. Mm -hmm. Do you have any milk for sale? Not today. Sorry. Goodbye. Sarah, miss. Mm-hmm. Herbs. There's nothing else. What about this? I don't wish to give that away. What happens if we do I'm this? I'm sure they would be interested. Okay, what else is going on? Could enter here. Is Mr. Long back? Mr. Long was... I've already taken... Yeah, we have taken our crate. So I suppose we just exit. Don't want to go into the inn.
There is a horse. A fine specimen. She's well looked after. Hmm. Horse hair would make fine bowstring. Exactly. <laughs> she almost took my head off. Okay, nice. We got some ho Oh, okay. Can we just use the knife then? I could certainly use the knife to cut some hair from her tail. But I'm gonna have to gain her trust unless I want a hoof to the nose. Okay, if that's the case... Hey girl, would you like an apple? She is completely indifferent. Perhaps the apple is too spoiled for her liking. Hmm. I don't wish to lose a... I'll have to gain her trust. Okay, we don't have anything that helps us. Gaining her trust, do we? So maybe... Wait. This looks suspicious. I certainly don't wish to touch it. Fresh and st I believe a horse to be the culprit. Uh-huh, interesting. So, can we trouble I that shall up? I be dragging any of my... Okay. So we know there is a horse. I have nothing else to ask. The produce is not... Can we Good talk? day. How did you like your apple? I'm afraid it is rather rotten, sir. Hey, up. That's slander, that is. Don't you be going around telling folk I'm handing out rotten apples. Yeah, but... Look at this. I'm not sure they would be interested. Good day. Freshly... Seller would mislike to buy some. No, thank you. Good day. Freshly... Seller would mislike... No, thank mm -hmm. you. Okay. Perhaps you'd be more interested in a Scotch egg. Freshly made, just one... No, thank... Okay. The produce is... Not yours to take. That's true. But maybe here. Can't go in there either. We don't have the keys. It's not... Yeah. But what about the church? Anything happened in here? These are still locked, right? They are still... Yeah, they're still locked. Okay. Good day. Freshly picked up. Selling the wood mislike to. No, thank. Okay, he's still trying to. Hmm. Find milk for. Walkman for my excavation. Fiddle bow. Surrounding area. Nothing else changed. Okay. Do we want to enter? Let's enter because there might be people in here now. Joe, perhaps you've had enough sugar? Don't you start to know? Aha. Uh -huh. Lots of things going on in here right now. Seems. I don't need to use the filthy lavatories. Okay, if that's the case. Nothing else going on though, right? Alright, we will have to sugar cubes. Those will help. But guys, I'm really sorry we have hit the end of the episode mark. If you want to know if we can continue our journey and gain the trust of that horse and all the other things that we are supposed to do, you'll have to tune in next time for the excavation of Hobbs Barrow. See you then.